Hello, welcome to this lesson of the AC Analysis Tutor. Uh, here we're going to work on some problems, give you some practice with all of these concepts we've been throwing around, like uh, amplitude and frequency and things, and I want to give you just a couple of core um, examples to sharpen your skills. To make sure you understand uh, intuitively what everything is. So let's say you have a voltage that varies with time, right, V of T. And let's say that that voltage looks like this, 40 times the cosine of 2513.27 times time plus 36.87 degrees in the units of volts. This is what a typical uh, sinusoidal source might look like. Now it has some crazy numbers in it, but fundamentally it's the same. We, we, we recognize the form of what, it, of what we have. Um, this is the frequency, the in angular frequency, whatever is in front of the T. This is the phase angle usually expressed in degrees. And this is the amplitude out in front. Now the units are important as well, that's volts. So part A says, what is the frequency in hertz? What's the frequency in hertz? Well, the first thing to know is that you're already given the frequency here, but it's just the angular frequency. So you would say omega is equal to 2513.27. The, the, um, the uh, units of angular frequency is radians per second. So we want to, uh, this is telling you how fast the, the uh, signal is oscillating here, but it's telling you in terms of how many radians per second. In other words, you go a full revolution in two pi radians. So when you tell you how many radians per second, it's telling you how many revolutions. It's just in terms of radians per second instead of cycles per second. We want to know what it is in cycles per second or hertz. So the number one thing I told you to remember is omega is two pi f. Omega is 2 pi f, which we just said is 2513.27. So we can always solve for the frequency. f is just going to be equal to 2513.27, and then you just divide by 2 pi. And when you do that, you will get 400.2 hertz. All right. So when you look at this 400.2, it means 400.2 cycles every second is happening here. So this number in hertz and this number in radians per second represent the same thing. They're telling you how fast does that thing oscillate, how many times per second in terms of hertz, or how many radians per second in terms of angular measure around the unit circle is the thing uh, oscillating. It's telling you the same information. So that's how we solve for that. Part B, and change colors. Let's say part B asks us, what is the period, which we call T, in milliseconds? How would we find the period? Well, once we know the frequency, we should remember that um, the period is 1 over the frequency. It was one of the equations.